Hey guys, in this session, we're going to be looking at using the sine rule to find the missing side. Now, this is for non right angle triangles. So let's get started. Okay, so for our first question, uh, here's a non right angle triangle. We've been asked to figure out what A is. So, what we're going to do is, in any time you want to find the missing side or missing angle, the first a good idea is to actually label your sides and label your angles. So, in this case, I've already been given little a, and that's what I'm trying to figure out. If that's little a, that's the side that's opposite of this particular angle. So I'm going to call this big A. And if that's big A, then my next thing is finding out what B is. I'm going to put this as big angle B. So this is going to be the side B there. Okay, so how does my what's my equation? I've got sine A divided by little a equals sine, oh, got the wrong colors. Let's try that again. So what was it? Sine a over little a and sine b over little b. Okay, this is my equation. But in this case, I'm actually trying to figure out what um, a is. All right, so just to avoid an extra step of rearranging, I'm actually going to write my equation like this. I'm going to write it as a over sine a equals b over sine b. So now I have a, which is an unknown. Sine a, well, that's 32.2. b is 9.25 divided by sine b, which is 105.31. So rearranging this, I can say that A equals 9.25 multiplied by sine 32.2 divided by sine 105.31 degrees, which means A is equal to, so I should get A is equal to 5.11. Okay, and so that's how you do it, guys. So do a couple more examples and then we'll in the session so next question this time i'm asked to figure out what b is okay so remember i'm actually looking for a missing side here so let's look at my angle where is my b okay so my b is there if that's b then this is the angle that's well this is the, the side is opposite to this angle which is 57.78 so that's going to be capital b um, I mean, if you want, you can call the C or D, whatever, doesn't matter, but I'm going to, let's just stick with A, all right? So angle 81.42 is A, which means 9.06 is A, little a. So if we look at our equation, we have sine of A divided by A is equal to sine of B divided by B. Now, you could, once again, you could actually substitute all the values and rearrange. But because I know that when you're dealing with one fraction, uh, a fraction which is equal to another fraction, I can manipulate this right from the, from the get-go. Because b sine a over a equals sine b over b, I could write this as, I mean, I could rewrite this as sine b over b equals sine a over a. And, of course, I can flip it because it'll still be the same. B sine B equals A sine A. Now I can go about substituting things. So I'm going to get B uh, over sine B. So sine 57.78 equals A, which is 9.06 divided by sine 81.42. So B could be written as 9.06 multiplied by sine 57.78 divided by sine 81.42. Now guys, if you get some weird answers, like a negative answer, then it's a good chance that your calculator is actually in radians mode. So please change your calculator to degrees mode. If you don't know how to do that, I have set up some videos for graphics calculator tips. Uh, make sure you watch that just to sh see how you can change your calculator from degrees to radians. Oh, sorry, from radians to degrees. 
Okay, and as for this answer, B should get, you should get 7.75 as your answer for B. Okay, let's go to the next question. All right, now in the next question, uh, I've, you've been asked to find what C is. There's also B there. Now, we worked out B from the last question, which was 7.75. I'm actually using the same one, guys. 7.75 was the answer for the previous from the previous question. Now, how do we go about figuring out C? Because let's think about this, all right? We've got these two sides, and we've got two angles, but we can't actually figure out C because it's not a right angle triangle, so you can't use Pythagoras theorem. But what we do know is angles in a triangle actually add up to 180 degrees. So what we could do is, because look at this, all right? You can choose A or B, it doesn't really matter. We already put this as A and this as little a. And then we put this as B and little b. Correct that. Now we've got C. All right, we've got little c right here, which means capital C is going to be there. So in this question, we actually need to figure out what angle C is first before we can figure out what the side C is. Now, angle C, we know that it's angles in a triangle, which equals 180 minus 81.42 minus 57.78, which gives us 40.8 degrees. Okay, so we know that C is equal to 40.8 degrees. Now we can go about finding what actual little side C is. Now, I'm not going to do the whole thing again, guys. I mean, if you can have a look at it in the previous slide, how I rearrange this formula. But I'm just going to go straight into it. Little c divided by sine c. And it doesn't matter whether you use angle A or B in this. All right? You're still going to get the same answer. I'm going to use B. So I've got little b over sine b. Okay? And so now I have c over sine 40.8. B is 7.75 divided by sine 57.78. And this could be written as little c equals 7.75 times sine 40.8 divided by sine 57.78. So when I do this in the calculator, I get, I get 5.99. And that's what little c is. Okay, guys, that's it for this session. Uh, thank you for watching. And as usual, any questions, pop it in the comments below. Yeah, and thanks for watching.